Hey, how's it going? Figured I'm gonna do another video, get my progress done. So earlier I made a video on the GMC Suburban, had that in here, got that cleaned up, um, ended up figuring out, had some vacuum leaks, it was running kind of silly, fixed those, plugged those off, got them rerouted, got the advanced spark for the distributor taken care of um, a couple other things on it fixed the headlight cleaned it up detailed it took it for a spin it's it's loud it's it's loud i'll do a another in-depth video tomorrow on what i did to that thing just to kind of see it's pretty dark out now but yeah this video is for the gmc 84 just kind of update on where I'm at with it. Made some progress. I um, decided to start tackling it and went to town. Got some stuff done. <clears throat> so there's a big old mess that I got going on right now. So let's uh, start in the back. Went through... Had those uh, carriage bolts down there, right there, holding the bed on. Snipped those off. Started getting the frame all taken care of. Started kind of figuring out a game plan for this cross member. I'm not going to buy one or use one. I'm just going to fab one up. I got enough sheet metal laying around that I'll got something that will work just fine. Um... But I ended up getting the cab jacked way up. Stuck a chunk of rail underneath here so I can get underneath there. Started hitting the frame with a cheap poker. I actually cleaned up pretty well. Um, didn't want to get too crazy with it. I'm going to get some of the rust converter stuff spray on there. But did a quick shot over the bottom here. And yeah, I... It cleaned up pretty uh, pretty well. Um, got the uh, A support there jacked way up. Don't really care too much that it bent it. I just want to jack it up because I went through, ground down some of this cruddy stuff, cruddy material. Got it all ready for welding. Um, so my spot welds were a little large, so I'm going to have to I don't know, tap that up, make sure they're tight. Maybe put a couple more self-tappers to bring it up. Who knows? Figure that out in a bit. Ouch. Sharp. So I roughly got the floor cross member and got a self-tapper up there. Got a self-tapper in. This side cleaned up the back side here. And I'm going to get some weld-through primer and spray the piss out of that but yeah i got that fitted in and then i went to grab the other support here and um a little finagling i get that body mount spot to line up pretty decent problem i have is these kick panels and i ordered new ones and i thought both of them would come in i just hadn't unboxed them so, I'll show you what a kick panel looks like. I ordered them up. That's kick panel. I thought they were both in one box. They're not. <clears throat> this is the right-hand side one. So, I'll look at my eBay, and package one of two has been delivered. So, that kind of took all the wind out of my sail for doing anything else because i really just need to get that kick panel put in here clean that all up i might buzz it down quick tonight before you know hit some of this to straighten it out but i really don't want to do a whole lot because i don't i got the size of the other one but it's mirrored so i don't want to go too crazy and then cut out too much metal and basically make more work for myself when i could just not so, 
yeah, I'm waiting on that kick panel. Just kind of pissed off that um, it didn't come in, but whatever. That's that's life. So, yeah, like I said, this one's just sitting in here. These are the same for both sides. And when that is in there, like I mentioned in my other videos, it's a puzzle. <clears throat> so that'll be in there. There's a panel that'll sit up here. It's like a, I don't know, six by six. It's kind of an oval shape support, I guess. That'll go on top of that. I'll probably just make one with some spare sheet metal I got. And then the floor pans will overlay on top of that. Once the floor pans are in, <clears throat> you can start, well, not you, I could start fitting this uh, rocker on here. And I was doing some, some rough, just eyeballing it. And it's gonna be a lot of work. This is gonna have to get patched up. Which I don't mind doing patch panels. It just it's just it's gonna be a lot of work. I mean cab corner is just totally gone anyway. And then this side, I'm not really gonna get a good feed into it because of the way the being supported but you get the idea I figure I'm probably gonna hack just south of those spot welds right there right there because that's the support for the door and I'm figuring that's about the structural integrity on it <coughs> for the most part we get all my chunky nastiness out from right here and over just zip it Got enough metal in here that'll work, and that kick panel, if I ever get it. So, I'm going to have to drill these spot welds out, get this other lip off, that new panel to come in, clean that up nice and flush. And, yeah, probably do some stuff in there, because that's bad. I don't know if this is a part of a that panel. I don't think it is. No, but it's the part of there. So I'm not going to have to worry too much about there. I'm thinking it'll probably just be a zip up to in here, down or something, just to get it out. So that will be fine. Oh, what else? What else? Yeah, that's kind of where I got for today. I'm just kind of... I don't know, I quickly burned myself out again. Oh, I did get the wire harness for the taillights all unbuttoned and moved away so I can clean up the frame a little bit better because that's quick and that's not even touched yet. So get that zip down and put some of that rust converter on. Maybe I'll put it on and I'll come back and won't have a frame. Who knows? Maybe we'll convert it to nothing. So, I'll end it there. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup and call it an evening. Wait to see if I hear any responses from anyone. And go from there. So, catch you next time.